In an attack yesterday, Russians damaged the Babin Yar Memorial, where tens of thousands of Jews were massacred during the Holocaust. This is one of the many cultural sites damaged as Russian forces continue to pummel Ukraine. National correspondent Ben Shemiso spoke with a Ukrainian expert whose own family was executed right there at Babin Yar. Russia is bombing Ukraine's major cities with increasingly powerful weapons in the crosshairs, civilians, and major heritage sites. According to Ukrainian authorities, a rocket attack on Kiev's main TV tower on Tuesday also hit nearby Babin Yar, a site where Nazis executed more than 33,000 Jews in two days in 1941. They shot them uh, one by one, uh, performing what is known as the Holocaust by bullets. Northwestern University professor of Jewish history Yohanan Petrovsky Stern was born and raised in Kiev. Two of his relatives were killed at Babin Yar during the Second World War. It is the holy place uh, for me and my family members in Kiev. He says Tuesday Russian strike on the Holocaust Memorial, which reportedly damaged a Jewish cemetery, brings back painful memories, memories of a time when Soviet censorship and anti-Semitism tried to rewrite the history of what happened there. The Soviet censorship did not allow uh, the Jewish relatives uh, to put the word Jewish victims on the memorial. Any kind of mentioning of specific Jewish suffering was erased from the Soviet memory. Today, Petrovsky Stern says it's Russian President Vladimir Putin who is trying to erase Ukraine's history. And what he does to Babin Yar is exactly the same as he does to many other historical, cultural, socially important buildings in Ukraine. The Holocaust Memorial is just one of many cultural heritage sites that's at risk of getting hit as Russia escalates its attacks on Ukrainian urban centers. Ukrainians have entire cities that are built in 15th, 16th century that are older and more beautiful than Moscow, and they are in danger. So Putin claims that Ukrainian culture does not exist. And he, uh, in order to uh, justify his claim, he might be willing to erase these cities. A museum about 50 miles from Kiev was destroyed over the weekend. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs says 25 paintings by noted Ukrainian artist Maria Primashenko were burned. There are seven World Heritage Sites in Ukraine and experts are warning of an unfolding cultural catastrophe. Petrovsky Stern says his 87-year-old mother has been hiding in a bomb shelter under a school in Kiev. But like many of her fellow citizens, she wants to stay put despite the danger. Ben Shamiso, Newsy.